Palm trees swaying in whipping winds. Roads filling up with water. This was the scene outside of Adam Cressy's home in Fort Myers, Florida, as Hurricane Irma made its approach. We're seeing probably 60 to 70 mile an hour winds right now. The storm's moving in. Um, we've got some significant flooding. Cressy is originally from Stoddard, but now lives in Fort Myers, where he works as a firefighter. He says certain parts of the city were ordered to evacuate before Irma arrived. We are definitely a low, uh, low-lying low city, and we're right on the Coosahatchee River. So um, they evacuated a lot of areas, and they were um, driving around and, and, and knocking on doors and telling people to get out. Cressy says shelters are full, which means there are people who could not get into them. Right now, the city is not responding to 911 calls because it is just too dangerous for first responders to go out in the storm. But once wind speeds drop, Cressy says he will be out with his team helping those in need. They basically stockpile the 911 calls and we will prioritize them and triage them as soon as the, the wind speeds drop below 40 miles an hour and then we'll go out and start our responding to them. And Adam says once things calm down, he and his fellow firefighters will go first to the hardest hit areas and will move door to door throughout neighborhoods to try and find those who need help. Live in the studio, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.